Hi everybody, my name is Eli. I'm Jason. I'm Caden. I'm Jaden. And we're the Yakuza Lynch Horror YouTube channel. And we are very happy you are here. We are very, uh, it's very early in the morning. What time is it for us here? 6.24. 6.24, so it's not too early in the morning, but uh, I'm up at 4 o'clock. Um, how's everyone out there? Good. Yeah, how's good. everything good? Um, let us go over the month. It is month 10 on our creator's calendar. It is the fourth day on his calendar day. It is the 28th day on the Gregorian Babylonian calendar. Makes it a fourth day of this week, and it is a Wednesday. Okay, anybody want to do... This will be the last day that I'm going to do these counts, um, just because this puts a huge, absolutely huge target on our backs, but I thought it was a lot of fun. Because every time that uh, the evil people of the Hallelujah Scripture Grifters take a look at this, they're going to be very, very upset, because this is literally thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars they've lost that they are no longer going to be able to buy their gold and silver and houses and live this extravagant lifestyle. But I'm sure it didn't stop anything, honestly. Um, but when you take money out of very you know corrupt, evil people's hands, they always want to do everything possible. And if you're still listening to this on the main Yahoo and the Torah channel, then we're still alive. The Hallelujah Scriptures, Grifters, the people, the criminal organization that has been stealing money from people for the last 13 years and has not been donating it to orphans, widows, and lepers, um, they have been massively attacking every one of our sites and everything. And they have over 40 strikes right now on various, uh, between, I don't know, three or four different YouTube channels. Uh, they took out a complete bit shoot channel, the entire thing. And, um, somehow they believe that the word of our creator is theirs. And they have been the only people that have had the power to bestow this and, and, um, hand this out and, Based upon judgment, um, all of their books are now gone. Everything has, has been delivered to the people. And if you're looking at, at the power of our creator, and what he does is he will take something that somebody has that he, it was a great responsibility, right? Handing out the word of our creator is an awesome responsibility. In fact, it is something that is, is just an amazing thing. And I am so grateful that we have an opportunity to be able to give away the, the word of our creator and to be able to stop a grift of people that are really trying to hoard the word and really not giving it away for free, really making their money on it and, and very evil people. So this will be the last time that we do this. So this will be your last chance that you guys can guess and have this. So how many scriptures for the month of December have we given out so far between the couple different sites? Um, what was it yesterday? Uh, yesterday, I don't remember. What was it? Anyone remember? Nicole? Remember? 542. Your last chance. I'll give you guys each two guesses. If nobody guesses, nobody in this house will win our little trivia thing. 551. Okay, that I will tell you guys, that's too low. Next guess. 572. That is too low. 601. That is too high. Dude, how do we go from 540 to over 570? Okay, yeah, one more guess. Um, 577. Too low. 582. Too high. Last guess. Oh, you're right between. You got your last what guess. What did you say? Five seventy eight or five seventy nine? Five seventy nine. Wait, so it's in between five eighty oh, two. And what Jaden just said is not correct. He didn't say either of. The, he said one of those numbers. He didn't say both of those. So it was that right number. Yeah, one so last between, chance. It's in between five eighty two and five seventy seven. I wouldn't go right in between. I feel like it's one of us. One, either one of us was really close. You're with. Yeah, I mean, you're within a couple. Last chance, guys. To have a winner in Boss Clan, it is almost over. Got to do it. Get the number down. 579. You got it. Wow. That's it. 579, the very last shot. Boss Clan actually got a guess that on this. That was a team effort. That was a team effort. Okay. Yeah, so 579. And um, let me go over one last thing since we're never going to go over this publicly again, probably. Um, the, the scriptures, the Spanish scriptures, has 67 downloads. Um, the Biblia Israelita Nazaria. How do you say that? Israelita? Israelita, yeah. 59. And also the Torah commandment book um, is very awesome. You guys can get that at yahooandthetorah.com um, forward slash dot net. Sorry, actually, we're going to put the dot com. We have dot com too, but it's dot net. Yahooandthetorah.net dot forward slash downloads. You can get all of these. And um, the Torah commands book is super, super cool. So. All right, guys, that is the last little piece that we will do with that. And let us continue into, um, we have an in, inside a running joke. We call it Pac-Man. Um, let's do a, there you go. Handy extra screen. And it 
he's there. Good job, boys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is a, such a slow tablet. Um, we have an inside running joke because Nicole made a um, spelling error when she was grabbing one of these. And instead of, uh, it's like, it's supposed to be Hakma, but she put Hackman. And the first thing I saw, I looked at it and go, Hackman? I'm like, who is Hackman? And so whenever we're doing the Wisdom of Solomon, we always, we always joke here that we're doing Hackman here. And it's like Pac-Man, you know, and it has a little, little, whoop, 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 <laughs> little stuff when he goes and does stuff. So, all right, let's go. Continue on. Um, this is not Hackman, but this is Solomon. This is Chalkman. And our dogs get, laugh. <laughs> whenever we laugh, our dogs get excited. Okay, and we might have just triggered the event, so hopefully not. Okay, let's continue. Wisdom reaches from one end to another mightily. And she rightly orders all matters. I loved her and sought her out from my youth. I desired to make her my bride, and I was a lover of her comeliness. Wait, he said he loved her. Does he mean he doesn't love her? Yeah, does that mean it's like over? Well, you know, Solomon had 700 women. I think So I, there's not too hard for this I, man to start loving somebody. I wonder if this is after he straight away. After he straight away? Yeah, maybe that's why he's like, I loved her. I did. Um, I, did I used to have wisdom. It, it could be an... We might have to, our dogs are starting to get a little squeaky here. So we might have to come back to this in a second. It is interesting. All right, let's come back in a second. Sorry, guys. All right, we're going to try this again. Okay, so it is interesting. I, I did think about that as the dogs are howling there, or attempting to howl. As he said, I loved her and sought her out from my youth. Um, maybe that, as in past tense. It, he did because in the end, his wisdom was not, I mean, I don't know how you with 700 wives or women in your life, you could say that you're a wise person. Um, yeah. you know, I, it just doesn't make, it doesn't make a wise person doing this, having a, like, like they, like his essentially a stable full of concubines like, is what he had. Like strain or start worshiping idols. Yeah. It was like a shelf full of beautiful women. You know, every woman that he got, oh, I'll take that one. I'll put her in there. You know, it's just, he doesn't, he doesn't, he's not real wise in his old times. I mean, he's straight away from the Torah. And if you're so wise, but yet you stray away from the Torah. How wise could have you been for real? It really seems strange, though. He has the most wisdom in the entire world. It says he'll be the most wise man on earth. And then he goes and, like, completely strays away from the Torah. He does, yeah. Um, he said, he, I desire to make her my bride, and I was a lover of her comeliness. And so what is uh, what is your guys' say in your things? And I desire to make her my spouse, and I was a lover of her beauty. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Solomon loves things of beauty. He probably had a lot of horses as well. Okay, three. She increases her nobility, for she accompanies Elohim. Indeed, the add-on of all loved her, for she knows the secrets of knowledge of Elohim and is a lover of his works. If wealth is a possession to be desired in this life, what is wealthier than wisdom, the doer of all? Okay, so that's, that's a huge thing right there, right? A lot of people will work their entire life for wealth and money. It means absolutely everything to everybody. But by the words of the wisest, supposedly wisest man in the world, he says that the wisdom is, is more than any kind of wealth, right? The wisdom is the doer of all. He also goes on, he says, if insight works, who of all is a more skilled worker than she? And if a man loves righteousness, her works are good for she teaches self-control and insight righteousness and endurance of which there is not more profitable than men may have in their life okay let's talk about that real quick for she teaches we have she our wisdom teacher our female wisdom teacher she teaches self-control and insight does having 700 women seem like self-control to you no no okay um, so this is obviously probably written in Solomon's earlier days, right? More than likely. Yeah, I think wisdom divorced him. Yeah, wis wisdom was not a friend of Solomon towards the end. She neglected and she left him. Okay, um, those are good things, right? Self-control, insight. I mean, how, who doesn't want insight, right? Who doesn't want righteousness and endurance? So how would it, how would wisdom teach righteousness, um, probably following the Torah would probably keep you on the straight and narrow path. Now, what about endurance? How, how do we get endurance from this stuff? Uh, you would get endurance by uh, basically keeping your faith, right? In the hard times, in the times of trial, you're going to keep following the Torah. You're going to keep your faith in the Messiah, who's sure you're not going to stray off the path when something bad happens. Yeah. And wisdom would help you with that. Wisdom. Yeah, to, to know that this is not the, the best life that you have now, to know that your life in the future, in the f kingdom to come, is our best life to come. 
And so we got to just get there. Okay. Or which there is not more profitable than men may have in their life. If a man desires much experience, she knows the way of the old and concludes rightly what is to come. She knows the wisdom of words and expounds hidden riddles. She foresees signs and wonders and the events of seasons and times. So it sounds like wisdom is what basically expands our mind to right. everything, right? Like we want experience, but she'll help us that. Right. And so if we're trying to find hidden riddles and we're just, you know, I don't, I don't want to say that possibly over my older years, I've gotten wiser, but a lot of things that I did not know and a lot of things, a lot of ways that I spoke in, in my youth, I don't speak now. And it, it was unwise, very unwise things. And so the hidden riddles are things that everybody wants to know, right? The, the, the secrets of kings, right? The, every king wanted to know when, their, when the Messiah was coming. Every king wanted to seek out the, 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 the ways of Elohim, or at least some of them did. And um, wisdom is what helps us all of that. And it also says that we're able to see signs and wonders, that we're foreseeing signs and wonders and events of seasons and times. What, what do we mean of events of seasons and times? What, what does that possibly mean? Possibly the future to come or we can have the feast days. Yeah, and I, I mean, simple. I think simple wisdom enough is you would be able to understand um, that cold is coming, right? Seasons are coming, seasons and times. It's going to get cold. We are going to need to prepare like squirrels, right? We need to bring food in for those kind of seasons. Um, and wisdom will give us a lot of that insight that we would not have. It's basically... Um, a, I don't know, a helper from Yah that is enhancing our life. We follow the Torah and seek out, seek out Yahuwah and we get reward. Yeah, reward with wisdom. And wisdom is, is simply understanding and having a closer bond with our Creator, knowing that He is enhancing our lives with, with understanding that is out of this world. Okay, knowing that she would be a good, a counselor of good and a comfort in worries and grief. Because of her, I have esteem among the multitude and esteem with the elders although I am young okay there he goes right there so I guess it wasn't yeah so he wrote this before he like went wild okay I shall be found alert in judgment and shall be admired in the sight of great men when I hold my tongue they shall await me and when I speak they shall give good ear to me if I talk much they shall lay their hands upon their mouth and by the means of her I shall obtain immortality and leave an everlasting remembrance behind me to those that come after me. So basically, going back up a few verses when you talk about being with the elders and stuff, he basically, like, wisdom lets me have that experience of the elders, lets me have the wisdom of, like, elders would have. Yeah, and, you know, you can even, you know, that's the thing that, you know, some people look down on youth as something that is, oh, it's not a good thing. The only thing that youth does not have that adult has is experience. You do not have the experience of all of the ups and downs that others have had and the gray hairs, the people that have had to been there and done that. And so it is amazing that he's able to put wisdom as the defining piece that he's able to talk amongst them. Because if he's in, in a group of king, if he's in, in basically royalty... King David was not hanging around retarded people, right? He did not bring stooges in as his wise men. He did not bring people that are fools in and right, to teach him. bring Torahless people to counsel him. Yeah, and, and so if he has the people that are sitting there listening to him had to be, you know, important people. They had to be important enough that, that you know, if you had a kid that's sitting there speaking, you wouldn't sit there and listen. But wisdom, from what Solomon says, it was able to give him an edge and able to, to let him basically sit with the adults and act, you know, even wiser than the adults, probably in some regard. Okay. 14. I shall put the people in order and the nation shall be subject to me. Horrible tyrants shall be afraid when they hear of me. This is like a, this is like the kid hoping for the future, right? It's like, I'm going to go do all these great things. The tyrants are going to be, they're going to, this is, but you know, it's like you grow older and it didn't quite go as planned. I should be found good among the multitude and courageous in battle. He's courageous in battle, but he hates the sun. He does not like work. And after, after I have come into my house, I shall find rest with her. And for those who do not know, um, why doesn't Solomon like the sun, everybody? Uh, his brothers made him work out in it when he was young. Or <laughs> do we, how do we know this? Uh, is it 
song of song. One of the it's an Ecclesiastes. He's like uh, working under the sun is futile. Yeah, he the hates. sun is futile. <laughs> <laughs> he hates the burning sun. sun. Yeah. Okay. After I have come into my house, I shall find rest with her, for her ways are not bitter, and to live with her has no sorrow, but gladness and joy. Now, when I through though on these, now when I. Though on these matters within myself. Now when I consider these things in myself. <laughs> when I, what is it? When I consider. When I though on these matters. I supposed to thought. When I think on these matters to myself, maybe. Oh yeah, mine Now says, when I thought. Yeah, yeah it should be because mine goes, now when I consider things in myself, it should be now when I thought. So this is, be, this is going to be Way to go, a translation table. team. Yeah, no such translation team with the grifter scriptures. Cup and paste. Yeah, search and replace. Control H. They missed, Search and replace. They missed the T. They missed the T. Okay, now when I thought on these matters within myself and considered them in my heart, that to be allied with wisdom is immortality and it is great pleasure to have her friendship. And then the works of her hands are wealth without limit and walking in her company insight and in talking with her a good report. I went about seeking how to take her to me for I was a lively child and had a good spirit. Indeed, being good, I came into a body undefiled. Um, a lot of times when you say you have a, this is a lively child, you're not saying this is a good thing. Oh, this kid's a little lively, huh? <laughs> um, I don't know if that's a good thing or bad. If his parents are like, man, you're really lively, Solomon. Uh, that's not always a good thing. Okay. Indeed, being good, I came into a body undefiled. Nevertheless, when I perceived that I could not otherwise obtain her except Elohim gave her me, and that was a point of wisdom, also to know whose gift she was. I prayed to Yahuwah and pleaded with him. And with my whole heart, I said. That's and then it, I, I guess that's it. They, uh, they went to the next chapter. <laughs> well, what did he say at least? Oh, Elohim, my fathers, and Adon of kindness, who has made all by your word and ordained man through your wisdom. Though he should reign over the creatures. I guess we're not going to go into that. So he said a couple things. But I think that nine, I think that actually was supposed to, I don't know how they really. That's the problem one. Should have cut that off. Yep. All right. So the very last thing was he didn't know where he, he tried to get wisdom and he could not figure out how to get wisdom, but he got it and he figured out it only came from Elohim. Right. Okay. So that gives us yet more stuff that we need. When you guys pray, everybody needs to pray for wisdom. You guys need to pray that Yah will basically open the cup of wisdom and pour this cup of wisdom upon us that we are able to decipher the world that we are in and decipher the, the evils of this world and keep us out of trouble. And we're never, ever going to have the power of wisdom unless you guys are keeping the Torah. If you guys have rejected the Torah, then wisdom will reject you. Yah will not bestow his wisdom upon you. And so, you know, for those who are really, really smart in this world and those who are very, very successful, I don't believe it's the spirit of wisdom that has given that to you. Maybe it has, maybe it hasn't. But understanding comes from man. Wisdom comes from our creator. And we can pray for wisdom, and that is what we should be praying for, and we should seek it, and we should obtain it, grab it, hold on to it, and we should not let it go like Solomon seemed to let it go in his older age. Okay, I guess that's it. Anyone else? Uh, oh, we're, we're live tonight. Yeah, tonight. yeah it was we're nice. Live. We'll, be, we'll be live tonight. We will be live. Uh, I, I think 7, 7 p.m. Eastern time. 7. Um, okay, yeah, so I think it's around 7. We'll, we'll get it. We'll try to get it up early today. Um, we keep saying that. We never do. But we'll try to get that up early today so everyone can um, see it. And hopefully we see you guys there. We love you guys very, very much. To our extended family out there, we love you. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful day. Have a good day. All right. Shalom. Shalom.